Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So ladies, let's chat. The white picket fence vision, it's changed. There's a few cracks in this, Stacy. <laughs> and people are you know, starting their own businesses. There's been a role change with men and women. How has it affected your household? Um, it's affected my household in that I've always worked, my husband's worked, um, and the roles are at home different in the workplace. But to women, I think that whatever you decide to do for your household, you should be able to do that. And society has said women should stay home, men should go to work, men are now staying home. It's whatever works in your household. I always talk about this one size fits all, and it's just not there. So yay for the picket, picket fence breaking down. Really? I, yes. know, I miss the picket fence, actually. I want the picket fence. I, I, what? And I do too, I miss it. I, I really liked the idea of having a, um, a nuclear family uh -huh. where some of the roles were extremely distinct mm -hmm. and that there was a, a one income household where people could earn enough, where someone could stay home and raise the kids, cook dinner, prepare meals, yeah. make things. We don't, who, <laughs> does anybody scrapbook anymore? Wow, I'm the do most Do we even know what scrapbooking <laughs> is? I, I love the idea of being able to well, do that, but who's I got the time? Yeah, I gotta work, I, I gotta take care of the kids, I gotta do my hair. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not necessarily saying I don't <laughs> want to work, but I, I agree with you, Madison. It would be great to be in a family situation where there is an option for someone to stay at home wow. with their future kids. Absolutely. And I, I can work if I no, want to. No, hold up. No, 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 okay, no, all right, all right. No, no, let me go. I am amazed because I'm the most conservative person on this show. But you, think, you, but you think you're the most conservative. No, but, okay, but listen. But you're not. Okay, listen, Madison though, and Jesslyn. <laughs> Because two parents outside the home work, it doesn't mean that they cannot instill traditional values in the home. We both know mm -hmm. that you, it's very difficult to live on one income. In order to, and so I you got to be an engaged see, parent. The thing. You got to be an engaged parent. In order to teach parent. traditional values, you have to be there to and live those traditional Absolutely values. Absolutely not, Madison. I'm teaching mm -hmm. traditional values in my home. You guys tease me all the time, and I work a very I executive know. job and so does my husband. But the time that we have together with our mm -hmm. children, we make that valuable quality time. You know, I would like it if my, if my kids got to grow up and they, you know, I grew up watching my, my mother work. Mm -hmm. And granted, she has some issues. However, <laughs> she was always working. She was always gone and she right. was not present. Okay. And when they were present, they were so preoccupied with other things right. that we didn't get traditional values. But I'm a very traditional value person and I learned that because I watched other families and how they lived and what they did. And I lived with like six different families in my high school years. Okay, but what happens with the picket fence with women? They can start businesses and still be in the home. Yes. Men can start businesses and still be in the home. But let's let's be honest, ladies, in the society that we live in, financially, Absolutely. people cannot but see, do that's, that. That's why do we th why do we have to assume that white picket fence means it's the man works, the woman stays home? Couldn't the white picket fence mean that someone earns enough money? Yes. In the household, whether it be the man or the woman. Yes that you could have a one income family versus a two income family and you have parents raising kids versus daycare, centers, nannies, and all I those get other that. things. I get that, but here's what I'm gonna say to you. For our viewing audience that they don't have that scenario, they still can be engaged parents. It's the time, it's the quality time that you spend with your child. If you I know people who stay home time. and they go to Target all the time. They might as well work. Well, that's kind of me. I, mean, I, <laughs> no, I, I, I have to I, tell I, you, I know women who are, who don't, whose husbands work, they have nothing to do and they don't do anything with their lives. And to me, I just think what a shame. Okay. Because they could be doing a lot of things for their family and for their kids and, but they, or charity or whatever, but, and they don't do, but you just, they squander it. So right. obviously there's been a change in roles, in home, in the workforce. Do you I, think it'll ever go back to the way it was? So no, we will never go back to the single income family unless you, you you are, are allowed to be able to become highly educated. Or what you that. should do though, because the ROI on college is questionable right now. I know we're gonna get emails about that, but the return on investment in college is questionable. Yes. So you're gonna have the young people coming out, starting their own jobs and being entrepreneurs. So it might go back because you'll have all these people who are the Mark Zuckerbergs and the Bill Gates of the world. So they'll be able to do that. But it, as it relates to women staying home, taking care of the kids, coming home, be all dressed when the husband come in. Hi, June. Hi, hey, boy. Hi, it's, yeah. not, yes. it's not going to be, it's not, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. No, there, but, but no I think it has to do with socioeconomics. And um, it's more about income than it is 
do people want these roles? And technology is playing a, re a really big role. Plus, your generation is very honest. They don't even want to get married. <laughs> no, 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 not, not all of us. The, the millennials have a whole different right. view and on what you are not feeling that. The, the, the millennials. millennials. You guys millennials. are not having the I'm staying home, he's working. You all are telling me on interviews, he can do whatever he wants to. We live in the same house, we married, he does what I do, I do what he do, and that's it. So I don't think it's going to ever no, come just back. just be roommates. No, no, no. I <laughs> want the white picket fence in whatever way it, it is possible for my life at a trip to Paris. Here, you want to be kept. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing mad with. I'm not nothing wrong. No, with that's, that's, that's another thing. <laughs> we should talk about being a kept woman because I have a couple of friends who have uh, some ideas about what being kept means. And actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, I'd like to learn a few <laughs> of those tricks. We'll discuss them when we come back on Every White Woman. Stay tuned. I'm not mad about the kept part. Okay. <laughs>